I'm Brian and this is IGN News. Maybe building the Death Star from scratch wasn't the best idea after all. According to Brian Muirhead, a chief engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, a Death Star shouldn't be constructed with parts launched off of a planet like it was in the Star Wars universe. Instead, one should be built using an asteroid. An already existing asteroid would provide all the building blocks you would need to build your family Death Star, says Muirhead. These building blocks include metals, organic compounds, and water. Muirhead is currently working on an asteroid redirect mission, which will land on an asteroid, pick up a boulder from its surface, and put it in orbit around our moon. Sounds easy. NASA will then go visit the boulder on a crewed mission to collect and bring back samples. The landing is scheduled for 2023. Muirhead also describes what NASA and Star Wars spacecrafts have in common. The technology behind dodging asteroids is ion propulsion, a key component to spacecraft in the Star Wars series and one that the Millennium Falcon uses to its advantage. The asteroid redirect mission uses four ion engines, although the technology is still very low thrust. Muirhead said, if you wanted to start going in the stars, you'd need much more advanced power. So that's where you'd start are talking about fission and then fusion, that's really one of the power systems that Star Wars used. Could the United States ever build a planet destroyer? Well, according to the White House, who was petitioned to build a Death Star in 2013, the answer is no. The Obama administration estimated the cost to be around $850 quadrillion, a total that's a bit too much of a burden to put on taxpayers. For more, stay tuned to IGN.